All right, it was an early morning, 4.30. But it's five o'clock now and we're at the airport and we're heading out. Where are we going, Dave? Uh, to Guangzhou. To Guangzhou. So Guangzhou is the last stop. We'll be staying there roughly four nights, right? And um, we're about to go through security. Alright, we have landed on the ground again. And we are in Guangzhou. Guangzhou. We're here at a historical landmark called, um, well, I don't know what it's called, but it's, oh, memorial. Yeah. it's a memorial. It's a memorial. Yeah, memorial for Dr. Sun Yat-sen. And uh, he's the one who toppled the dynasty. Is that what it means? Everything in the world belongs to the people? Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything, everything in this world belongs to the people. Yeah. This is a huge auditorium where they would talk about this guy who would be 150 years old if he was alive today. But um, he's very famous to have a building built after him, I guess. An interesting tidbit of trivia is that um, Sun Yat-sen, the building uh, to, dedicated to the guy, uh, Sun Yat-sen that we're in right now, was actually a um, Buddhist, I believe. He attended a school in Hawaii, and while he was there, he studied Christianity. His parents learned that he was studying Christianity and pulled him out quickly and brought him back here. But while he was back here, he destroyed several temples. And um, nobody knows for sure if he was a Christian or not, but they assume uh, he probably was. So this guy is kind of like the Abe Lincoln of America for China. And he basically freed people from uh, the dictatorship. Not dictatorship. Dynasties. Dynasties? Yeah. And made a dictatorship. But based on the people. Okay, on and off the bus. We are in the middle of the city now. And we are here to get some food. What do you think? You want some food? Yes, hungry. Hungry for some food. So it looks like we're going to, into a shopping mall. Yes. And what kind of food are we getting? I think it's Thai. Almost every restaurant we've been to has had these round things in the middle of the table. They allow us to turn the food in different directions and receive what we would like. We are in a square in downtown, as you can see. They let us go shopping, or let others go shopping, for about an hour and a half. And, uh, we have been walking around looking at things for about an hour and a half. So it's about time to go back. Um, my wife's brother wants an erhu, which is a musical instrument. So he's went with uh, my wife to the bookstore, which sells erhus. One thing I wanted to show you was uh, the police around here. Behind me, I have uh, a police van that has four cameras or more sometimes on top of it. These uh, police vans are found at almost every shopping center. They set up a little uh, mobile uh, command center and they're able to monitor all the cameras in the area. Incidentally, the camera systems they have mounted at every corner are called Skynet. Watch out. Well, it started raining, and that cleared everybody off the square, except for the police. Clearly, everyone's alike, and nobody likes to get wet. All right, back on the bus, and we have arrived at the hotel. This is the biggest hotel in Guangzhou. All right, we've arrived at Lindong Bang and uh, we're about to check in.
Crazy traffic, the breach of, we just cut off a police officer and he didn't do anything about it. Nothing you can do about it. No, they said that uh, oh. traffic cameras generally capture all of the uh, minor misdemeanors and the police deal with like the real big problems. Because when you've got a population of one billion. Alright, so we're going to a Cantonese restaurant. We'll be eating soon. It's about 5 o'clock on Friday. Sunset at about 7.30. Back at the hotel. I think that's it for today. So I think this is the end of day 13? 12. 13.